And we start with a news alert about our kids getting sick. The Centers for Disease Control now confirming what's making children like this little boy sick here in Colorado and across other states. Test results showing most of the cases are enterovirus D68. And this nine-year-old poor little guy, just one of the many now recovering at Children's Hospital. And that is where Lindsay Watts is live right now. Lindsay, and this has a lot of parents in a panic. And for good reason, Anne. In just the last four days, Children's Hospital Colorado has treated nearly 450 kids, all with breathing problems. The hospital sent samples to the CDC, and 75% came back as the enterovirus D68. The virus is similar to one that causes the common cold, but it's much more rare and proving it can be very severe. I talked to one mom who believes her newborn could have been among the first in Colorado to contract it. He ended up, you know, just with a little cough at first. A little cough, a little runny nose. Didn't think anything of it. Symptoms of a cold quickly turned into something more critical. And his lips would turn blue and his eyelids would turn blue and he would just not be breathing for about 20 to 30 seconds. This was back in July before kids across the Midwest started getting sick by the hundreds. Is that better? Baby Watson was admitted to Children's Hospital Colorado and put on oxygen. They ran tests for viruses like RSV and uh, whooping cough. He improved, but doctors were never able to pinpoint what was wrong. They really didn't have any answers. And as I read more about uh, the new virus that's popping up, it sounded like exactly what Watson was doing. It was a month later when the cases began pouring in. Children's Hospital says it's treated more than 900 kids with severe respiratory problems since mid-August. We've had a handful of children end up in the emergency department going directly to the pediatric intensive care unit because they've been so sick. Dr. Christine Nyquist says kids with asthma are most at risk and young children have a tougher time fighting the virus. She says precautions are common sense. Your mom always told you wash your hands, cover your mouth when you cough. Those are the things that we tell them to do. And the good news here, enteroviruses are rarely deadly, and the CDC has reported no deaths in this outbreak. Reporting live in Aurora, Lindsay Watt, 7 News. And continuing our top story, we also spoke with experts at National Jewish here in Denver. They treated six children just yesterday, two testing positive for enterovirus. We're self-selecting a group of more severe patients that are actually being tested for this. So there are probably patients out there who are contracting this virus and just have mild symptoms. There is no vaccine, antibiotic, or antiviral medication to treat the illness. Because of that, Dr. Cho says children with asthma need, to, need special treatment for the re respiratory problems. So here's what we know right now. More than 1,000 children have become ill in 10 states over the past three weeks. The Centers for Disease Control confirming dozens have now tested positive for this rare enterovirus 68. Again, those symptoms much like the common cold. We're talking runny nose, coughing, sneezing, and fever that turned to wheezing and trouble breathing. We will keep you updated on this outbreak on the 7 News app and here on 7 News.